up everybody this is living local 409 coming at you with a new video now i am excited again as always i love doing this i love bringing you food and we're trying to find the best burger in southeast texas that's a big task there's a lot of amazing places making a lot of amazing burgers i have a playlist if you want to go look at all of them i'll link it below uh, where you can go look at all the places I've been and see what you think with the fate with the face value of the video and I will after I probably need to make a number of places that I have on my list that I go through and then after that do like I did with the pizza places the thing is there's not a lot of pizza places but there's a lot of burger places I wish we had more pizza places that are local uh, but anyway today Today, we are at a good place that from the pictures looked amazing. So I had to come. Where am I at? Bluebirds Fish Camp and uh, Restaurant. Okay, Bluebirds Fish Camp and Restaurant. Sorry for messing that name up. I had to come by and see what they pushing out. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a beautiful sight. Um, they got a place where boats can get out so this is really like a campsite for you to relax in and get on the water man so if you haven't been out here it's in orange texas sorry i forgot to tell you i'm in orange texas um man it's a real nice little place little nice little place the water is, is it's got a little nice scenery i will say i'm kind of upset that they have a uh, power line area there but I mean you can't pick your scenery but still nice and now the restaurant this food is my stomach is growling because <laughs> this food I'm gonna tell you right now their prices amazing so if the food is good I'm gonna be very happy but I'm telling you right now I let me tell you all I bought I bought a cheeseburger I bought a four piece with fries chicken plate and I bought Boudin balls. I only paid fifteen dollars. I only paid that. Let me tell you again. I only paid fifteen dollars with tax, with tax, with tax included. Fifteen dollars. That's how good this place is. Cheap. So, burger was only like five dollars and some change. Uh, the 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 chicken basket with fries only five dollars and some change. So, if this food is great, ooh. But I'm here for the burger. So we're gonna be doing the burger and seeing how the burger is going. But of course, I'm gonna tell you with they chicken and stuff because this is a first try also. Never been to Bluebirds. Heard about it, read about them online, but this will be the first time I'm trying it. Let's get to eat. All right, so let's look at what we got here. First, what's in here? This is my blue, no, this is my set, this is my burger. This is my burger. I'm gonna open that up later. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So first, this must be the boudin balls. Okay, you get three boudin balls. Okay. All right. And I wonder what this is. I guess this is for my chicken. I'm gonna put this over here. All right, let's look at what we got here. Ooh, I tell you, I love when they put holes in it so you don't get that wet fries and stuff. So that's smart people when you put holes in the in the, bat, in the uh, gold container. Okay, you get that Texas toast. And this is my chicken fingers, or, you know, chicken tenders. And those are the fries. I will say, just by glance, those fries, I don't know if they're gonna be my fave, but you know, I'm gonna judge a book by its cover. All right, let's look at this burger and see what we pop in with. If I can get it out of the wrapper. Okay, I like the little wrap on it. Of course, I got it upside down. Okay. There we go. This is it. Not very big. But if it tastes great, that don't matter. And plus, like I said, it was only $5 compared to what most restaurant burger prices are. So 
I'm very eager to try this food. I'm going to go try the balls first. Pause. <laughs> the boot and balls first. Pause. Okay. Boot and balls first. Then I'm going to try the fries and one chicken tender and then get to the burger. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to try the boudin. You know what? Now I think that boudin usually comes with dipping sauce. So the ranch is for the boudin balls. But I never really dip my boudin balls in ranch unless they just not that good. So these are hot straight out the straight out of the uh, the fryer. So excuse me if I make noises or anything of that nature. Let's get to trying. What is this? Their crust is man, it hits you right off back. I don't know what this is. I have not had a boudin ball taste like this. I don't know what this is. That crust is so different. That was a surprising taste. Now I know what it is. That caught me by surprise. Y'all boudin balls caught me by surprise. Let me try a fry. I'm gonna rate the stuff at the end. Let me try this fry. Straight from the fry, no, no season. That's what I was thinking, and that's what it was. So this ranch is gonna be for my fries. Let me try chicken tender. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. Oh man, that's hot. Not bad. Okay, so that was the chicken, the boudin, and the fries. Now it's time for this bugger. <laughs> Burger. Let's see what's let's see what's, what's popping with this thing. Cheeseburger. The lettuce going everywhere, man. Let's see what they got. Now this this is a good burger. Ah oh, man, I'm about to eat another piece. I was trying to say like let me stop because last time I kind of went too far, but when you hungry? All bets are off when you're hungry. <laughs> so. Honest opinion. I'll start with the boudin balls. The boudin balls are great. They have the boudin, the, the, the crust is nice, crispy. It has a, a awesome seasoning flavor to it. Boudin is great inside, nice mixture. If there was any flaw to it, it was after it. You could tell that they use kind of the same stuff that they use for the fish fry because it kind of tasted a little seafoody. That would be the only thing, but it, man, when that first hit me, that season hit me and that was awesome. So shouts out to y'all because that seasoning was awesome. Uh, so out of one through 10, I'm gonna give them a seven on it. Seven on the boudin balls. You need to try their boudin balls. Fries, five out of 10. There was no seasoning on them at all. They were straight from the fryer. You can tell it's just it just comes with the meal. Um, the chicken, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I can't rate the chicken as good as I would like it to because the chicken really just looked like they kind of overcooked it a little bit. Um, so if I had to rate it, this is probably just probably didn't, they didn't do their best on that part. But if I had to rate it, I probably would say a five out of 10 for the chicken. Excuse me, okay. But the main dish, what we getting on, what we doing this for is the burgers. How did the burger handle? The burger had a great taste. Um, the size wasn't comparable to others that I had. Uh, so I would say this burger had a great taste. You, it was cooked good. So if I had to rate it one through 10, I'm gonna rate it a seven. It's a seven. So this is a, it's a good burger. Um, I'm gonna finish it off because I am hungry and I'm not, I'm not gonna talk that long to you. <laughs> But man, Bluebirds is a beautiful sight. Several canopies with benches. Just get your food, sit under the canopy, eat your food and just watch the water or listen to it. Man, it's awesome. I would say this is a great place. If you have never been, you definitely need to put it on your list of burgers to try. The boudin balls, and since they're known for fish, they probably have some amazing fish. So y'all come out, support Bluebirds. I'm always for supporting local businesses. Come out here and support Bluebirds. This was some good food, great food, great burger. We're on the list. We're still looking for the greatest burger in Southeast Texas. So y'all stay tuned, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, uh, and support local businesses. Peace.